In this problem, we're going to look at the velocity and acceleration of the read-write head on this hard drive. So it's this point P attached to the actuator arm. We're told that this actuator arm, which has an axis we'll call Q, has an angular velocity in the clockwise direction, omega, and has an angular acceleration in the counterclockwise direction, alpha. We can write that omega, the vector, is minus 40 rads per second, because it's in the minus k hat, and alpha is 200 rads per second squared in the k hat. We're being asked to find the velocity and acceleration of P, the read-write head. To do this, we're going to need to know R, P with respect to Q. And we can write that out. R, P with respect to Q is, we're told it's 3.5 centimeters from the axle Q to P, 0 0.035 and we have cos 60 in the i hat plus sine 60 in the j hat meters. So our equation for fixed axis rotation for the velocity of p is going to be equal to omega cross r p with respect to q. So that's going to be minus 40 rads per second in the k hat crossed with 0 0.035 cos 60 i hat plus sine 60 j hat meters. And we can expand this and say it's minus 40 times 0 0.035 times cos 60 in the j hat minus k cross i is minus j plus 40 times 0 0.035 times sine 60 in the i hat. Minus k cross j is positive i. If we calculate these numbers out, we're going to find that the velocity of p is 1.21 i hat minus 0 0.7 j hat meters per second. To find the acceleration of P, we'll write down our fixed axis rotation acceleration equation. That's alpha cross R P with respect to Q minus the scalar omega squared times the vector R P with respect to Q. In this case, we're told that alpha is not zero, so we can't eliminate that term. Both alpha and omega are non-zero. So we're going to write out our whole equation. We know alpha is 200 rads per second squared in the k hat direction. And that's going to be crossed with 0 0.035 cos 60 i hat plus sine 60 j hat. And then we'll have minus a minus 40, sorry, that was meters minus 40 rads per second, all squared, times 0 0.035 cos 60 i hat plus sine 60 j hat meters. So we're going to do out that first cross product. We're going to find that this is 200 times 0 0.035 times cos 60 in the j hat, so k cross i is j, minus 200 times 0 0.035 times sine 60 in the i hat, so k cross j is minus i. And then we have another minus 1600 times 0 0.035 times cos 60 i hat. Remember, this isn't a cross, so we're just using those directions. Minus 1600 
times 0 0.035 sine 60. 60 sine 60 j hat. So we'll work out the math for each of those terms. So we have 3.5 in the j hat minus 6.1 i hat minus 28 i hat minus 48.5 j hat. And we combine those, we find that our acceleration of point P is going to be equal to minus 34.1 i hat minus 45.0 j hat meters per second squared. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.